Welcome, everybody, to the 2020 ArcGIS User Seminar. I am Sarah Schrader, and I am super excited to be here. I hail from the bold north, Minneapolis Esri office, so it is about 30 degrees warmer here. Thank you very much, California. I'm excited to be here. My name is Nicole Grams. I hail from the Esri St. Louis office, and we're your hosts for today's 2020 ArcGIS User Seminar. Now, before we begin, a few bits of logistics. We are recording the seminar today, so we may be generalizing our direction here towards a certain set of cameras. However, we appreciate all of you and want you all to feel at home this morning. So feel free to take uh, photos of the slides with your phones slash cameras, uh, but please either silence the phones or just turn them off completely. After all of the seminars are complete, we will be sending out the uh, PowerPoint slides to all seminar attendees. Let's start with the agenda. This morning, we're going to talk about what's new across the ArcGIS platform, and then we'll touch on our developer community and the subscription network that we have. Finally, we'll recognize a very important part of our Esri world, and that is our partners. And then we'll go out to the break, refill that coffee, network with your peers, and return after about half an hour. On the second half of the program, we'll cover very specific workflows to show you ArcGIS in action and touch on some new opportunities that you can think about implementing moving forward. And last but not least, we'll give you a little homework to think homework. about when you go home. Wait a second. Don't be scared. It's going to be okay. Now, so let's talk about the purpose. Why are we here today? Well, Esri is a user-driven company, and we are defined by the problems that we help you solve. In short, folks, we're here to help you be inspired and help give you the capabilities and tools so that you can be the most successful that you can be using ArcGIS. Now, you may have seen this guy before. Our president and founder, Jack Dangerman, couldn't be here this morning in person to welcome you. He's traveling off to Wisconsin, speaking of the North, and so he recorded this video to welcome you instead. Hi, my name is Jack Dangerman, and I want to welcome you on behalf of all of the staff here at ESRI and, and tell a little bit about the purpose of this particular session. The vision that was initially suggested was that we could help our users by having this kind of session help them amplify the power of the technology they're already using, help them technically, but also show them the way with regard to not only new tools, but also the solution workflow idea and the vision of GIS being an integrating technology across organizations. So we will be covering things like ArcGIS Pro, the latest release, We'll be touching on things like the new map viewer for both ArcGIS Online and also Enterprise. Uh, we'll also be touching on the new story maps, the new configurable solutions that are built around workflows that are standardized workflows within planning and public works and housing and, and uh, engineering. The idea behind these templates or workflow templates is that you can implement them and immediately leverage the technology that you already have to be able to reach new, reach new areas of, of leveraged application. In other words, get more out of what you already have. But this doesn't just happen. It requires your investment in understanding this. It requires you as a GIS professional going deep technically to understand that's how, how you do it. But it also means you thinking about this idea, envisioning about the idea of, of being able to collaborate across the organization, helping your colleagues in other departments, and ultimately helping engage with communities outside of your organization, even uh, citizens, but including academics and, and citizen groups and NGOs and also organization to organization. The power of GIS today is allowing us to do this, web services, uh, dynamic integration, uh, the new generation of tools in something as simple as desktop mean that I'm not simply in a client server domain anymore. I'm serving and that serving technology allows us to integrate dynamically and use the fundamental tools more effectively. I am seeing as I travel around a huge embracing of this new step in the, in the evolution of GIS. We sometimes refer to it as geospatial infrastructure 
being able to build as services the, the basic information that makes a city or a state or an organization run effectively. And I invite you to explore this concept and also play with the technology. I know that some of you are doing it, but it's now beginning to really mature. Things like Portal as a foundation technology that enables all these applications and brings content of many different sources together is, is, so, is so very, very powerful. I mean, it's, it's getting me more excited than I've ever been in my life. I invite you to go deep and fast with this, but also keep this, in, this vision across your organization of using geospatial technologies and GIS to bring your organizations together in a powerful way. Uh, keep, keep that alive and keep pushing it. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Do, enjoy the day. I think it's going to be very rich for all of you. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Jack. So just to recap what you heard from Jack, we're here to help you be successful with our technology. Now, this isn't just how to use the technology, but it's to envision the art of the possible. How can you amplify GIS throughout your organization utilizing ArcGIS? Mm -hmm.